It's TC Ronan here with Ronan FPV. Welcome to another segment of Ronan Tech. For today's video, I'm very happy to own and show you the LaForge Pro Fat Shark 5.8 GHz main receiver module with diversity module combo by Shea Ivy and UBAD. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Mr. Patrick McLees of Heli Nation, where I bought these modules from. This is a vendor that I highly recommend. They carry a wide variety of RC products, competitive pricing, and more importantly to me, it's been a phenomenal customer service experience every time. I really recommend that you check them out, heli-nation.com. Also, below in the video description, I will include a link to the Heli Nation website where you can purchase the LaForge Pro Fat Shark Diversity Module Combo. This is the first of three videos that I'm working on putting together detailing my experience with the LaForge Fat Shark Diversity Modules. This video being the unboxing, as well as putting out some of the advertised specifications on the modules. The second video will be the installation where I intend to run the wiring harness that connects the diversity module with the Fat Shark module internally inside the Fat Shark goggles. That will require me to disassemble the Fat Shark goggles, do some modification, but it will allow me to hide that wiring harness inside the goggles. Now, those of you who are thinking about doing something like this, please keep in mind if your product is still under warranty, or I should say your Fat Shark goggles are still under warranty, a modification like this will void that warranty. Another common installation method that I've seen is people will actually mount the modules and then allow the connecting harness to run on the outside of the goggles, which is probably the simplest way to do it. And the third and final video will be my opinion and whether I think this was a worthwhile upgrade and if it's something that I would recommend to everybody else. I'm sure it will be. I'm very excited about having these. My current FPV goggle setup, I'm using the Fat Shark Dominator V3s and the Fat Shark Next Wave 5G8 with race band single antenna receiver module. And for my antenna, I'm using the Video Aerial Systems Cyclone by Ivy Crazy. It's been a great system so far. The LaForge Fat Shark and Diversity modules that I purchased are from Batch 2, which means they should have the version 1.5 firmware, although my understanding is with the release of Batch 3 in early July, I noticed that there is a version 1.6 firmware available. You can purchase the LaForge Fat Shark module on its own, which would be considered a significant upgrade, but diversity would just take your FPV experience to another level. The modules come nice and neatly packed in these protective plastic cases. When you open them up, the modules are actually protected by another section of foam on the top and the bottom. The LaForge Fat Shark module is a 40 channel receiver that comes with an OLED screen that displays a brilliant user interface. On the top right hand corner here behind this tab are status LEDs and along the same side is a jog wheel that allows you to navigate the menus as well as select the items within the menus. On the top left hand corner here is an SMA connector <clears throat> and then below that is the port for the cable that connects the diversity module and then right below that is the IR emitter that allows this unit or module to communicate with the soon to be released transmitter. This module also was meant to be a direct replacement for your existing Fat Shark module with the pin headers in the back it allows you to put it straight into the side bay of the goggles. The diversity module this is actually from batch 2 so my understanding is what was different from batch 1 is they have this cutout here as well as placing I think the buzzer 
towards the back. I think originally it was towards the front. And then uh, they also use an SMA antenna connector there. And then there is the port again that connects this uh, through the cable to the Fat Shark module. And this particular package comes with the uh, cable. And to give you some of the advertised specifications, this module allows you to save channel. Start up with the last save channel and settings. The screen saver, display current channel, call sign, and signal strength. Settings menu that allows you to calibrate RSSI, set call sign, frequency, order, and save. You can quick save by holding the select for two seconds in manual mode and search mode. Status LEDs that indicates power status and active antenna. An IR emitter that allows you to quickly bind to the LaForge Pro module, that transmitter that I had talked about earlier. A three button navigation up, down, and select, that's that jog wheel. The manual mode, set channels manually. Search mode, search next channel based on signal strength. Scanner, Scan spectrum of all 40 channels. It's also got a large 470 microfarad tantalum capacitor that allows for clean power and dual antenna filter, both for the module as well as the diversity module. And also to give you the features and improvements within the version 1.5 firmware, now has a favorites mode allows you to save up to 40 channels as favorites. Uh, also initial boot up to this menu uh, and you can press select for one second to add remove favorite. It makes it very convenient. Uh, they moved the diversity menu. Uh, now it's under the setup menu. Uh, also remove the beeping from the IR emitter. I guess many people uh, complained that it was annoying. They added a short beep when antenna changes. Uh, can be disabled in setup menu, adding small padding to RSSI min-max to prevent RSSI clipping, enabling serial only during RI transmit and reduces power consumption. They also added uh, more VTX settings, uh, v VTX audio ground, VTX power, uh, the transmitter, you can now choose between 25, 200, and 400 uh, milliwatts. Uh, defaulting VTX power level is 25 milliwatts. And then also VTX color LED light strip. Um, other UI improvements, uh, user interface, uh, other code optimizations. There are also a, a couple of bug fixes. Uh, fix for channel C55806 race band, and then fix for AutoSeq to start scanning at 5645. Well, I'm excited to get this project started. I hope this video and information is helpful to any of you out there that are looking to do a serious upgrade to your Fat Shark Dominator goggles. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And shortly, I'll be working on video number two, the installation.